This is a load of about 5.5 to 6 ampere on the 240 volt supply. Shortly energize the device and see what happens how this pencil is going to perform. Very nice. 5-6 ampere. Hope the support's holding up to this. I'll just see what happens. Fantastic small emitter. That will probably fail, but we'll see. Pencil is glowing red hot and burning. Beautiful. It's the wood burning. That one's clear, it's cool. It's all in the controlled environment, so there's no problem there. The pencil acts like a resistor and glows bright orange. Got the 6 ampere. Let's get rid of the bit of plastic here, stand by. Yeah, it's falling off by itself, beautiful. My interpelts will probably fail because they're just 9 volt batteries that are used for the termination points. I'll get a dynamic different angle on this uh, setup. I'll just um, put the camera a little bit different angle. I'll bring it up a bit higher. Stand by. Just going to move you guys around. So this but it's quite happy to sit in equilibrium at about 6 ampere load smoking at the end point. I'm quite surprised how well it actually works and the energy, I see the afterglow I'm just going to light off and have a quick look at this um, well it looks very nice like a night light it's actually a nice orange, the camera shows it a bit more whiter but uh, I'll get a bit dark, it's, it's even nice I'll just let it cook for a wee while I think my end termination support will fail at some stage. We've got a blue flame there. It will carbonize itself, de-energize the carbonization. The current is steady at 6 ampere, which is quite cool. I'll just go an aerial view. I'll just grab the camera in the hand and have a look from an aerial view how this is looking. This is in a controlled environment, as I said before, it needs to be vented and uh, it's a 240 volt experiment, so very important on these videos. Uh, firstly, don't do it when you don't know what you're doing. Secondly, always unplug. <laughs> there we go, we broke the circuit here. Current is gone, it's after glowing. I'm going to de-energize the device shortly. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is always one of the most important things. I uh, always unplug safety first. I turn it off at the wall and unplug safety first. Have that physical gap before you touch anything. String one was done with a one kilowatt element in series, so ballasted circuit. It's interesting to see the texture of the graphite has changed. It's gone very brittle and it's gone, uh, yeah, a bit of brown ochre type color breaks quite easy. It's probably because of uh, impurities in the graphite itself. So I'm going to do another one that uh, uh, maybe about um, 10 ampere, 12 ampere load.